one of the most useful things that Jung did, I think, was to work on this idea of the integration of the shadow. Because he was really interested in the idea of evil, right? Especially working with trying to parcel out what happened in Nazi Germany and during the Second World War. What do you do with the part of you that's aggressive and, and potentially malevolent? Do you just crush it? That's the superego response in some sense. Do you just put it behind you, so to speak? Is that a possibility? Or do you admit to its existence and bring it into the game? And that's... See, for, for Freud, in some sense, morality was superego clamping down on the id. And they were fundamentally opposed. Both Jung and Piaget had a different idea, and I think they were right. It's like, no, no, you invite the bad guys out to play. And so, you're an aggressive hockey player. But it's disciplined aggression. That makes you, gives you access to a whole sorts of energy you wouldn't otherwise have. And then with regards to sexuality, it's like, well, untrammeled promiscuity doesn't constitute a virtue. But neither does unavoidable virginity, right? In fact, I think that's worse, because it also masks itself with virtue. It's like, well, you should be able to, you should be able to do things that you wouldn't do. That's, the, that's like the definition of a genuinely moral person. They could do it, but they don't. And that, that's not cowardice. And so that's, you burn off the things that